Welcome back to another video, y'all. Today we have the dynamic duo of Vinny LeCavier and Marty St. Louis. And we're just going to get right into it for y'all because y'all not going to want to miss it. All right, let's fucking get it, y'all. Hopping into game one with the Marty St. Louis, Vinny LeCavier builds. Hopefully, let's go. What a fucking start, baby. What a fucking start. Go finish St. Louis. That's a very fitting start for one of the most electric fucking duos to probably play in NHL history. These dudes were absolutely nasty. LeCavier, St. Louis together, bro. Oh! How did that even go in? Look at that elite ball placement. That's oh, an elite ball. Wow. That's an elite wow, ball wow, placement. Wow, 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 wow. As y'all can also probably tell this video, I'm kind of free balling it a little bit more than I normally do. Normally, I have some stuff like written up about the player or players and just kind of what's going on in the NHL. But I'm as of right now, I'm kind of just switching up some different styles, trying out some new shit, whether, you know, because I feel like the videos kind of jump around when I kind of have the script. I'll talk about the build one second. I'll talk about the actual players the next second. So I'm trying to avoid that. I'm trying to see what y'all enjoy the most. Let's fucking go, baby. What a start to this game. But like I was saying, though, just trying to simply see what y'all boys enjoy the most. So let me know down in the comments below what type of style y'all prefer. Whether it's this, whether it's a montage type style whether it's scripted out shit and i talk about the actual players and i talk about the nhl a little bit let me know down in the comments below y'all because like i said we're gonna keep this series going in nhl 23 oh no Let's go, baby. What a play. Oh, damn it. Sorry, I waited long enough. Thank you. Come again. <laughs> we take those. <laughs> Third period. Gotta finish strong. Not a good start. Oh, my gosh. I had damn near a heart attack, to be honest. Okay. Heart attack's back. Okay. Yep. For good reason. For good reason. Okay. Oh no, no. Try to get a nice one here. Oh, one more. Oh, one more. No, I just want that one T just one time. Fuck. Are you gonna cry ice tilt now, bud? Wow. I can't believe he scored that. Get it out, please. Holy shit. Ooh. Let's go. Honestly, definitely made that one way fucking scarier than it had to be. But we had a pretty good game that game. Let's have an even better one game two. Let's get right into it, y'all. Let's get it, y'all. Hopping into game two. Game one was a little bit closer than we would have liked, but we got the dub nonetheless. Got some, made some nice plays and everything. And for some reason, we're holding that puck in fucking August, Maddie. What the fuck are we doing? These dudes do seem to be a little bit smaller, luckily. So hopefully we can show off this, the physicality of this LeCavalier build a little bit more. Oh no. Oh, I just got hit for no reason. Hey, that works. We take those, we take those. Dummy, I knew you were fucking doing that. Oh. Your trash, kid. No. Oh my gosh, I'm so ass for that. Oh my gosh, I'm so ass for that. I thought I had the puck. Hello? Let's go, baby. Good fucking play, boys. Way to finish that. Let's go. Go flying. I was like, fuck. Okay. What? That 2K? Oh my god. Honestly been a pretty slow second period so far though, besides that one goal that they just scored. So this is probably a good time to talk about this because 
NHL just revealed that they were going to drop the trailer. Big fucking save, Maddie. Gonna drop the trail. Oh no. Oh my god. Anyway, but NHL is dropping the trailer for the new new chell on August 25th. So if y'all are not following the TikTok and Instagram, let's fucking go. Definitely go drop them a follow. Link will be in the description at Melman underscore the great. Because I'm going to have hella videos coming on the trailer. Also, the technical test. Because that's going to come out shortly after. I believe that comes out next Tuesday on the 30th. Don't quote me on that, though. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Dude, there's just no way. Awful second period. We need a fucking big third. Let's go. Let's lock it in here and let's get this fucking dub, boys. No, what are we doing, bro? Not the start we wanted, but maybe the start we needed. Come on, boys. How? Like, how, how, how? Oh, okay. Listen. Don't know how it happened. Like I was saying, how, 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 how? Whatever. We take it. Oh, he lifted me. Oh, ghost, bud. Oh, my gosh, bud. You are a fucking legend. No. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Come on. Come on, 2K. Come on, 2K. Come on, bro. Let's fucking go, 2K. Let's, let's fucking go, 2K. No. Go, go. Go, 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 go. Go, oh, let's go, baby. Fucking go, 2K. Turn me off, boy. They're gone. They're fucking gone, baby. What a fucking turnaround. What a fucking turnaround. Let's go. You know them boys are mad. So as y'all see, we did make those dudes rage quit at the end. They were a little bit flustered after blowing their fucking big lead that they had going into the third. But hey, what can we say? That's what we do over here. That's what we do, bro. Anyway... Let's get right in the bill. We're going to have Marty St. Louis first. Then we're going to have Vinny LeCavalier right after. I'll have the timestamps down in the description below if there's a specific build y'all want to see. Let's get into it. So for the Marty St. Louis build that Spud was using in the video, by the way, the day that I'm uploading this is his birthday. So if y'all are not sub to him, following him on his socials, go show him some love. He'll be linked down in the description below. He helps me out with a lot of these videos. But anyway, for the St. Louis build, we of course decided to make him a sniper. He is five foot eight. 180 pounds his actual height and weight he shoots lefty of course then for his zone ability we decided to go with close quarters just to kind of highlight his rocket of a wrister when he's closer to the net then we decided to go with elite edges and tape to tape for his superstar abilities elite edges just to kind of highlight his skating ability a little bit more and tape to tape just to show off his passing a little bit more because he doesn't really have the best passing attributes in the world. And finally for his boost, we decided to go with control deking just to increase his deking a bit more because on a sniper, you can't really get that high deking unless you use a boost. And also offensive timing, which gives him plus four hand eye because his hand eye and controlling wild bouncing pucks is absolutely incredible. So we decided to put that on as well. And if you wanna copy the attributes down below, just copy them. And if you're waiting for the LeCavier build, let's hop right into it for y'all. All right, so to recreate Vinny LeCavier in World of Chell, you kind of had to make a big physical center that could also shoot and control the puck really well. And kind of the best overall for that was a power forward archetype. We decided to make him six foot four, 215 pounds, his actual height and weight. He's also, of course, a lefty, just like St. Louis was. Then for his zone ability, we decided to go with Big Rig just to kind of show off his ability to control the puck through traffic a little bit more. And also for his superstar ability, he went with Crease Crasher to show off his ability to locate the loose puck in traffic when it's in front of the net, goalie's covering, there's absolute chaos going on. He's able to locate the puck and bury it at the end of the day. And also 1T just to kind of show off his incredible one-time shot and highlight that a little bit more because his 1t was absolutely incredible and finally for his boost we decided to go with durable skating to give him plus two speed because for a pretty big guy he was actually a pretty good skater to be honest he's pretty fast so we wanted to increase his speed a little bit more and we gave him control deking of course because like i said in the saint louis build 
it is really hard to get good deking, especially on a center since he has to have 90 faceoffs so you can actually win faceoffs. And Ishul, that was a mistake that I made with some of the previous builds. Lately, I've been putting on 90 faceoffs on all the center builds just so we can kind of have the absolute best chance to win the game so that it's also really viable in World of Chell as well. So anyways, if you want to copy the rest of the attributes, feel free to pause the video here. Also, drop a like if you did enjoy the video. Comment down below any other players y'all want to see. Also, sub with noties on so y'all don't miss another banger. I appreciate y'all boys watching. Peace.